Hey guys, um, today's video is going to be a bit different. It's being shot in the night as you can see. Um, the reason being, today I'm going to do a photo shoot of stars. But it's not going to be a simple one. It's the first time for me as well. I'm going to shoot Milky Way plus focus stacking off a subject in front of it. I'll try to keep up with you guys and try to show you what I'm doing. But I'm not sure if, if I'm going to manage that because I've got to do a lot of different things at the same time. So the first thing I need to do is find out the place where it's best to shoot from. I'm using a mobile app called PhotoPills for this where I can see where exactly the core of the Milky Way is at, right at the moment and where it is going to be in half an hour. I've already planned this before. I know more or less where I'm going. So once I'm set, I'm going to tell you more. Till now I've been shooting with the 50mm lens because that's the only lens which I've got which has the maximum aperture opening. But since that's too close and my camera is not a full frame, I've just changed my lens to this one. This is a this is a 24 to 105 and I'm using it at 24 mm. It turns out that the photo is not so bad. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yep, you can. So, uh, I'm just going to use this lens for the rest of the night and we'll see how it comes out. So one very important thing to remember when you're doing something like this is that you have plenty of battery with you. I'm sorry about this light but I need this. I can't can't help it. I need this light for, to look here. Um, yep, we need more batteries. It's a bit cold out here and your batteries go out very fast. I haven't been able to shoot much yet but I've shot a few things I need to change my location and recompose I know exactly where the Milky Way is right now where the core is actually the stars are nice and clear but the subject hasn't been very impressive so I'm going to change the subject now and let's see what we can get again if it turns out good I'm going to share the secret with you how I did it <laughs> or in the next video I can explain the whole procedure step by step but right now I need to concentrate on this so I'm just going to change my location now to find a better composition I'll probably go a bit down so I can have a tree or something in the foreground and the Milky Way core in the background right So one last shot, not last shot, the last composition and then I'm done for the night. Uh, I've made three different photos. Let's see how they turn out. I need to still check. Uh, what time is it now? The Milky Way is not going to be too long there. Yeah, it's five past one. Uh, I can still see the Milky Way up there. So I'm going to call it a night now. Tomorrow I'm going to collect these photographs, stack them and see what I've got. Time to go home. Thanks for joining in. My name is Avi. Today we are talking about the photograph which I showed you in the thumbnail. In the night I couldn't show you this place because I was too busy in taking photographs. That's why I thought I'll show you this location during daytime we can have an idea where it is actually because it's surrounded by mountains so it's very difficult for me to locate Milky Way I mean locating Milky Way was easy but to actually see it was a bit difficult because as you can see here where the Milky Way is that's the south or a bit southwest I guess and there is this mountain which covers the sky where the Milky Way should have been. So I had I used a app called PhotoPills and planned exactly when I should be here and where Milky Way will be at that time. I had come to this location about 
two months ago to see what I can shoot, where I can stand, how can I make the angle so I have the sky, clear view of sky and my subject. But the date which I had fixed, on that exact date, the sky was full of clouds. I couldn't see a star, so I couldn't come on that date. That's why I had to change the date and I came or I took the next opportunity basically when there was no moon, sky was clear and I said okay let's do it today because you never know when the sky is going to be clear again. So I just came here, took my phone out, located the Milky Way and started shooting but it still didn't work out the way I wanted it because I had my subject as Erherzog Johan as you can see and I had planned everything with my 50 mm lens but it turned out that was not enough because my 50 mm lens on my crop sensor camera was too zoomed in I wasn't getting enough of the sky in that so I had to change my plan right here on the spot and coming here two months ago doing my research helped me a lot because that way I could decide on the spot okay I can change my subject I can change my lens I can change my position and that's exactly what I did and I changed the subject from the statue of Erherzog Johan to this tree you see here and that became the subject and I changed my lens I changed my lens to 24mm which created a problem because that meant I needed more light because it did not have the f-stop 2.8 the minimum f-stop I had was 4 when I had to open the lens a bit longer which ended up in having some star streaks that's the disadvantage of ha not having big enough f-stop well that's called improvisation <laughs> the second problem I had on this location is as you can see this is very close to the town although this place itself it's completely dark on a moonless night for a human eye but if you leave the camera shutter open for too long the photograph looks just as if you have taken it in the day because the light from the town it spills on and yeah spoils the fun but yeah that's night photography is about here yeah? you need to find a dark spot where there is no light pollution for that I need to probably drive hundreds of kilometer which I did not do anyways now that you have seen this location let's go home and do some editing So, we are back home, well I'm back home, and I have already imported all my photographs into the Lightroom on my computer. And we are going to start editing now, well actually I have edited them, but I'm going to show you how I did it. So let's jump on in and do it. As you can see here, I told you that the town was very close to where I was. That's why we've got this photo, that's the first one which I took for the sky. And as you can see, the grass and the tree, everything is all lit up. It should have been all dark. Had it been in a dark place, 50 kilometers away from a town, then it would all be dark. But unfortunately, the location I chose was not too far away. That's why all the light from the town spilled over and we have this photo, which in itself is not a bad photo. I like it enough. But this photo is the one which I wanted. So as you can see down below here, I've got all the photographs which I took that night. You see here, this is the original one. Then I've got here where I've got the tree lit up from the bottom with my video light. I just put the video light under the tree and took the photo. Then here you can see me here with the torch. In the next photograph, I am here and I'm lighting it up a bit with the torch. Same thing again doing on this photograph and this photograph so on. Here I am on the left side trying to light up the tree from the left. In this photo as you can see the grass is now lit up. That means I've been trying to light up the grass. Here I've lit up this. Here is the right side of the tree and then in this one I've lit up only this part of the tree. In this photograph I've got a bit of grass and a lot of tree so basically these are 
quite a few photographs which together made this photograph so what I did was just selected photos I needed for the stacking process I took this one this one and this one this one this one and this one and then you just right click and say open as layers in Photoshop but I don't have Photoshop I've got Photoshop elements so I just opened them all in Photoshop elements so now that all the photographs are open they're not going to be open as layers as it would be possible in Photoshop but you can do that you just click on the first photo make sure it's here and simply drag uh -huh. one very important thing the photo with the sky should be your lowermost layer and um, because that's gonna be your main photo then the rest you just drag them over and if you see here on the right side photo has opened on top as a layer you do the same thing with all the other ones and you will see that they are opening as layers let me hide this photo bin because I don't need it anymore what we can do is press and hold the shift key and select all the layers and on the blend mode well it's not clicking so I think we'll have to do it individual on the blend mode just select lighten this will select only the light parts of your it will select only the light parts of your photographs so as you can see here the photo has already started changing everything that lit is going to be blended together so now as I have blended all of them with lighten we have a problem here we've got the whole tree which is already lit up and now it's not really looking as as we wanted and blending it with light has this effect where you see all the stars and their trails can you see them at the different times when the stars were at different positions that you can see now so what do we do well let me hide all the layers first as you can see here I've hidden all the layers so what I'm going to do start with the background layer and add a layer mask on the left side here you see that black and white squares you want black on top and a brush I have this one which is pretty big but it's okay for me at the moment uh, maybe not maybe I'll reduce the size up a little bit so basically I'm gonna start with the tree here thing is I know that I could not reach with my torch to the top of this tree so I'm going to leave the outside of the tree a little bit visible and opacity here a little bit less because I don't want this tree to be visible at all except for the outlines and this trump as well so that's taken care of now let's do the grass because all this I'm going to edit later on in the darkened images are you watching it does look a bit complicated but it's not that I mean it's maybe time consuming but it's not complicated see I've gone a bit too much up there so what I can do is to recover it just flip this to white and brush it over that's it it's as simple as that I'm trying not to wipe everything away but it doesn't matter because all we want is anyways light painted stuff here which we will see later we can always delete things so now what I'm gonna do is make this layer visible the second layer and we see how it looks all automatically now on this layer we need to add a layer mask we want the tree but we don't want the sky we don't want the double stars so that's what we need to delete here because this layer is for the sky not for the tree so we can increase the size of the brush and just simply go so notice notice how the stars vanish uh, you can do 100% opacity so it goes faster it's important to have this area black because that's exactly if you don't have a black you won't see the light here so this tree has to be dark so I guess that's that now let's go to the other layer let's make it visible and as soon as we make it visible you see the lit up tree again and here as well we need to add a mask layer go to the black and delete the whole sky yes it is time consuming but it's worth it and here you can see me with my torch so I'm going to erase myself just like that 
most of it is gone the tree I have left as it is I think I'm gonna have to go to this layer here and erase a little bit more now we come to the third layer this one adding a layer mask to this and let's turn the visibility on so here is the visibility here again we need to do the same thing erase the sky if you are having problems in recognizing which areas to erase you can simply turn off the previous uh, layers and you will know what exactly you have visible in this layer and leave that on erase everything else so let's put this back so you can see the whole tree see there's nothing else in this photograph which we need to keep so all these stars here here all these things small bits you don't need so we can just erase from here onwards I'm going to just make the brush a little bit smaller just you can erase all the dark parts of the photograph because all we need is what is light and bright on the tree tree is the main focus of this photo or at least of this layer that's it now we can turn the other layers on and see how it looks till now that's the result same way we go to the other ones here again the same procedure I'm going to turn the all the previous layers off so I know exactly what I need to erase here here I don't necessarily need the tree and everything but I do need the small bits on the bottom as you see here here the light is on the grass not necessarily on the tree but I'm still going to keep the tree on and the grass everything else I'm going to erase and now we come to the last layer which is just one side of this tree being lit up it might not seem like a very big um, illumination but it will help I'm sure now what we're going to do is going to make all these layers visible one at a time and see how it behaves that was the grass bit that's another bit on the grass that's the backlight of the tree that's a little bit more of the grass on the left side here bit more illumination on the tree keeping the tree here is tree is lit up from front and now we are all the way down to the back and that's our final image so that was it this is our final photo of course this looks a little bit different because um, I edited it again to show you guys how I did it and the erasing parts were a bit different and this has been edited later on in the Lightroom as well after saving with the same way I already also did this photograph for example and this photograph so that was it I hope I have explained things um, well enough for you to understand but if I've forgotten anything I'm sure I've forgotten a lot of things but if you have any questions please write them down in the comments I will try to reply to all of them and I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and share with your friends till next time bye bye